This is the story of how we almost didn't make it to matter. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is a story time and it is a travel story time, right? So I wanted to share the story from my last trip on how we almost didn't make it to Martinique, right? And if you have not seen my travel vlog, my prep vlog when I was traveling, you can take a look at that. And if you haven't seen my vlog from Martinique, um, just sharing like some of the things I did, you can also take a look at that. I'm linking those in the card, right? But anyways, guys, we are here for this story. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try not to be long because you all know I can talk a lot, right? So, as for those of you who looked at my previous videos uh, when I travel, you would know that I first traveled to St. Lucia to then go to Martinique, right? So I traveled to St. Lucia and while I was in St. Lucia, I was staying with my co-worker and uh, he was also going to travel with me to Martinique because all of us was going to Martinique, right? So... If you've never traveled to, uh, uh, when I say, well, I, I want to say a European country, but uh, obviously Martinique is in the Caribbean, right? However, they are under the French government. So uh, whatever applies to France applies to them as well, right? So when you're traveling to French, uh, a French country, it is different in terms of the requirements that you need, right? So I'll just share like two of the things that you need, right? You know, aside from the COVID related things, because yeah, that wasn't like the norm, right? Before the pandemic, but things that were the norm, right? One is that you need health insurance to enter the country. And two, if you are staying at someone's house, aside from a hotel or an Airbnb, there is this document that the person have to get from um, kind of like the county that grants you permission to stay at this person's residence, right? So these were information that we knew before and obviously we we got, you know, what we needed to get to go, right? So, the, so we had our health insurance and the document that we needed to grant permission to see at the, the person's residence because we were staying at uh, one of our co-workers house as well right so uh, basically like when they got that document obviously they are in martinique and my co-worker and i were in two different countries so uh, they what they would usually do is like take a picture well not even take a picture maybe like scan the document and then send it for the person and you print it and you show that um to immigration right that's what we did right so we had that you know printed out we had everything and we were just ready to go so i'll start from the morning so i know we woke up i don't remember the time exactly maybe it was like around six seven because i believe we were scheduled to depart probably around like eight or something right or oh, sometime eight something um so again for those of you who don't know you can travel to martinique from saint lucia via a ferry right and that is what we did right so we went to the port in saint lucia and you know there were like a lot of people there just you know um trying to go through i don't want to call it like immigration but go through like uh, the different steps you have to go through go through your documents and pay your taxes uh, to enter um martinique and uh, um then go through immigrations and then you know go and get seated to go on the ferry right so all of us were just there waiting outside with all our luggages and uh, the people who were working at the port they were basically like walking around asking you if you have all of your documents right so the first person that walks around at that point in time we didn't know was like the supervisor for the port right so she was like do you have all your documents it's like yeah she didn't look at it but she just asked like uh, um what it is we have right 
and she's like okay good so like we are thinking like yeah like we are good like ready to go right and if, again for those of you who didn't watch like my my vlog when i was prepping to travel like y'all before i travel like i just had so much anxiety because i didn't want it to be in a position where i didn't have something and then i couldn't get to go right so i just had like a lot of anxiety making sure that okay i have everything that i need for this trip right however you know when we were at the port like i really did have like peace and i felt like you know things are going to work out right um so i wasn't like worried or anxious about anything so anyways uh, gradually the line begin to get shorter and we begin to like move up closer to um, the counter right and uh, there was another employee who uh, um, was working at the port and she also was like checking checking your documents before you reach to the counter so it wasn't like what the the supervisor did where she just asked like she was actually looking at your passport looking at your health insurance looking at the document that you need to enter um she was like looking at it making sure that you know you you actually have it right so we it was our turn to and when i say our and me and my co-worker i'm talking about right so it was our turn basically to get our documents checked and um, when we reached out by her my my co-worker gave her his uh, um documents first right and the document for the accommodation like he printed his in color now he, he printed his in color mind you mine i printed it in black and white right like i didn't know you were supposed to print it in color like okay but anyways so she gave him his documents and she's like um is this the original like she's uh, she's holding the document and she's asking like is this the original so my co-worker there is like yeah yeah it, it is the original not really understanding what she was really asking so it was, I, and even i myself i was like what does she what does she mean like if it's the original like doesn't she see like you know it you know so she's like so she's there holding it and she's feeling it and she's looking at the other documents and she keep asking like is this the original and he's like, yeah. And then my coworker was like, um, they they sent it, you know, via email or whatever. And um, I printed it. And she's like, no, this is not the original. Like, you have to get the original copy from Martinique, right? So he's like, oh, like. So, so and then my coworker, my coworker was like, well, it don't even make sense. You track hers being me, like, because mine is in black and white. So obviously it's not the original. And the reason why she was asking, like, if it was the original is because the original is not just like a, an ordinary computer page that they printed on. It's a textured um, paper. So you can know if it's the original, right? So, um, so that's why because she was wasn't feeling like the text there of the document right even though the print looked like very original very like original it looks like the way the original looked right so at that point we were just like oh what do we do <laughs> so we were just like you know asking well like how are we supposed to get the original like if we are in different countries or whatever right uh, which i find is like so inconvenient right so basically they were saying that uh, the well whoever is in martinique they can basically like go to the port uh, and they can like send the documents uh, on whatever ferry is coming to saint lucia and then like you collect it like from the ferry right which i feel is like so risky because yeah um or the other option is that the person in martinique they can like mail the document to you right so maybe they can use like dhl or fedex whatever mailing system right and uh, so at that point we we just like came out of the line um because we couldn't go further so 
we started to like call because there was a, a fairy there was there a fairy no right so we started to like call our contacts in martinique to uh, see if they can carry the original documents to the port so even like when we enter we can just collect it there right uh, so we were calling calling not getting through at a point in time and then eventually we got through and whatever right so at that point in time you are like the the port is like a very open place right so there was like a lot of people there a lot of people talking a lot of noise so my co-worker like he went to like the cap the car park area to like talk on the phone to try to see like what could be done right um so while he was doing that i was like talking to another employee and he was well he was asking me like if it is because you so i was like telling him what's happened and then he was saying well you know there's a ferry coming tomorrow you can just like change your your date and um let the person just send it on with the ferry or whatever right so, so at that point you are like i wasn't even like anxious or like worried about anything like i i already like made up in my mind actually okay we'll just go tomorrow like that's fine like we just go another day so while i was talking to the employee my co-worker he was on the phone with uh my other co-workers from martinique and uh, i was like yeah you know uh, whatever like <laughs> i don't mind going the next day like um at least we have everything else that we needed the only thing that we would have had to do was go over and take a, a antigen test because your antigen test had to be 24 hours and that i wasn't too keen of all because that would have been like three days in a row i had to like well i took like antigen tests which is like annoying <laughs> so anyways after like i spoke to the the employee like i just like went more to this side and you all, I don't know like what happened. Like I just started to feel like really lightheaded and, and weak, right? So mind you, it was early in the morning. I didn't eat anything, which is not, you know, um, foreign for me to do because I don't eat like early. So eventually like my coworker, he came back to where I was standing and I just like, like i if like before he came like i started to like lean on the suitcase to kind of like prep myself because there wasn't any like seats around where we were and there wasn't also like a wall for me to like lean on or anything like that so i was kind of like leaning on the suitcase and like prepping my hand on the handle and when my co-worker came over i was like um i think i need to eat because like i'm feeling like I'm, I'm feeling lightheaded and sick or whatever right so, so we had breakfast that was prepared um from home or whatever and he was like oh okay um let's like go and look for a seat because they're like around the building there was like seats or whatever far from where we were right so we just went there and uh, um i ate and even though i ate like i was still you know, i was just feeling like really lightheaded and i couldn't understand why i was feeling this way because i knew it wasn't because i didn't eat because typically i don't eat early right and after i eat like i was still feeling like i felt a little better but that lightheadedness and i felt like i couldn't even like keep my eyes open like my eyes was just like closing down on me and i was like yo what is happening <laughs> um so what i concluded from that whole thing well me feeling that way is um, i took uh, um gravel tablet like i took two gravel tablets before because we were going on a ferry and this ferry is not you know the, the ferry that we have to go to bagel and when i say that i mean the ferry that we have to, to go to bagel is big right so Sometimes you won't really feel, you know, the waves and emotion and stuff, right? So I was not um, sure what was, you know, how it was going to be, how rough the water would have been, how, how the experience would have been, right? Because it was definitely a smaller ferry, very small compared to what we go to with Tobago. So I was like, 
I am not going through this. Like, I am preparing myself. So, like, I make sure I, like, took my tablets before just, you know, in case, right? <laughs> so, I concluded that it was the tablet that made me feel that way. I don't know if you've ever taken gravel and had that experience before. Let me know in the comment sections below because, yeah, that was just strange. So, anyways, so... Uh, we were just there sitting and uh, um, while we were, we, we had to wait because we were trying to get uh, the the documents to the port, right? To see if they can get it to the port so we can be able to go. So we were still in communication with those in Martinique and trying to see if they can reach the port. However, when they went to the port, the port was closed. There was no one there, right? So they couldn't get the documents. And at that point in time, y'all, where there was a crowd of people, like everyone had already like checked in and, uh, you know, was in the waiting area waiting to like go on the, the ferry, right? So I was still sitting and um, the employees of the, the port, uh, they were like just there outside, like dealing with like the, the, the people who didn't have what they needed to go on the ferry, right? Because it wasn't just us, there were like other people as well, right? Like some tourists. And uh, um, eventually my coworker, he left me just sitting because you know, I couldn't stand. Like I literally couldn't stand because I was just feeling like so lightheaded. So he left me and he was like on the phone again whole time. And he was talking to the employees, right? So eventually, like, he called me, right? He called me and I just, like, I left the suitcase and he was, like, to, like, you know, motioning me to, like, bring the suitcase, suitcases. So I, eventually, I carried all of these suitcases. And when I reached, there was literally no one there other than the employees, and the the supervisor who we had spoke to at the first but we didn't know she was like you know she can't let us on unless you know we have that documentation and also she said that in order for us to be able to go on the ferry that the port in martinique they have to call the port in saint lucia to like confirm that they have like the documents or or some craziness like that, right? But as we, as I said, the port was closed, right? And my coworker, he couldn't get anyone to give the documents to or get anyone to call the port, right? So um, she was like, no, she can't let us, you know, she can't let us go, whatever. But my, my coworker, he's on the phone with my boss, actually, who is by the port so my co-worker is telling her like he is at the port and there's no one there the port is closed or whatever and you all in a split seconds like god just like literally just like worked everything out like the supervisor she was like i am going to let you all go on the ferry do not get me in trouble make sure that when you arrive at the port the the person is there with the documents. And we were just like, yo, like yo, we just grabbed our bags and we let it was literally a reason. Because all of the bags were already like checked in. Um, all of the checked in bags were already like being loaded on the ferry, right? Everyone was at this point in time was already on the ferry. And and we are just there running. Um to give all our documents to, to pay the taxes then we had to after that we are literally running we, we went to immigration sign of the departure form and you all at that point like i couldn't even take like i couldn't even write you all i am sure i spelled my name wrong on that form because um, yeah i i i couldn't write right <laughs> and uh, we were there rushing and while while all of while both of us are just like Russian signing up that immigration form, my, my boss is calling um to basically tell us that he 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 was able to give someone the the document. So he my my co-worker is like, okay, I can't talk like hang up like because he doesn't know that we got through, right? 
and he's like i'll call you back i'll call you back i'll call you back so after that we went inside to get some scan and to scan our luggages and stuff when we go there i'm just like like we are just really like just rushing and there was like one other person who was in front of us that was like going and they were just like moving slow and um we we got our bags on soft scan we scanned we went through and then we went to we were literally running like running walking really fast to to give our tickets to the person you know that I, as i tell you at this point there's no one in the seating area everyone is already on the ferry the ferry is like ready to leave right and we're just like there and we're like we run on to the ferry and i'm just like oh my gosh i cannot believe this just happened like it's Honestly, y'all, it was literally God because there was like other people who couldn't go on to the ferry and like the supervisor, she did not like let, let them in and we were like very like calm and just like, you know, trying to, to get information and like see what could be done like while talking to them and uh, I, and because of that, you know, like we got favor and uh, um, yeah, so like we went on to the ferry and at this point, uh, because remember you and I said that I wasn't feeling good, I was feeling lightheaded, right? I was still feeling a little better, but I just really wanted to sit down and, <laughs> and rest because I just wasn't feeling good, right? So we went on to the ferry, like I slept, it wasn't like a long ride, it was probably about an hour and a half. I slept for most of it and eventually we started to see land via Martinique and I was just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I am here. Like I cannot believe we made it, like after all of that drama. Um, so while at the port, cause that was just like one hurdle, while at the port, uh, we got, we were going through immigration and uh, when we reached up to the immigration officer, like he's like asking us and he's speaking French, right? Like he's like basically like kind of signaling like for the document, right? So when we were at the counter, my coworker, he saw the documents like behind the desk, uh, um, behind the desk where the immigration officer was sitting down so like he motioned like you know it's like behind you right so um he saw it he saw the documents and everything was good and we got to answer like uh, yeah <laughs> um so yeah and after all of the drama i was like such a relief that everything like worked out and it was only good because yeah and just even through like the whole process, like I wasn't like worried that we would like never get to go, we wouldn't get through anything like that. Like I just had this peace, minus the whole part about me feeling sick. But I just had this peace and I knew that everything would have worked out, even if we um, had to like take the ferry the next day, like I knew it would have just worked out, right? So, so yeah, that is the story of how we almost didn't make it, right? So it is so important to make sure that you have like all of the documents and all of the things that you need to enter um, whatever country you're traveling to because you all, you don't want to book a whole ticket and then you can't get to go, right? Like it's just unfortunate. And that's the end of my story, guys. So. If you enjoyed this story time comment below let me know what you all think um, if you've ever been in a position like this let me know in the comment sections below and if you would like to hear more travel story related story times let me know in the comment sections as well below so y'all thank you again for watching this video make sure and subscribe to my channel for more videos again and remember this month of October, it is only going to be travel related content. Stay tuned for my next video and until then, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.